<clears throat> All right now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Sri Lanka series here on the Lord Mass Channel, Sri Lanka for Crusader Kings 3. Now, we have just had a pretty lengthy trip across basically the lands of former Yugoslavia as we know today, in the areas of the, mostly the duchies, that's in parts of Croatia and Serbia. Bosnia, Herzegovina, Montenegro, all that, all those places in the modern day. <clears throat> and now we're on our way back home, although it wasn't quite much of a trip as much as I would like to be. What I mean is, we could have been very, very rich, but instead, on our way up to the Balkans, our uh, Silk Road merchant died, and we couldn't make as much money as we'd like. And we've already spent quite a bit to keep supporting this Sangha. But it seems it's likely now that purification is going to be the way. But let's not waste much time here and let's go home. And I will tell you this um, also, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a couple of days since this was announced, but I will announce it here on this... Um, Deal. Okay, there were some things that went towards accumulation, but it's too little too late. We got about um, 22 months to get there. Also, I inherited this scale armor from uh, Samidata, my half-sister. I do have armor, but no reason for that. It's because my sister died in childbirth. But did the child survive? No. Oh, that's sad. <sighs> Anyways. Land grants. I saw that popped up. That's a high medieval innovation. Well, what about early? What is this next? Arch saddle, that is for 15 years, 19 years. Okay, we'll get those two, then we'll start working on getting high. Well, actually, no, because you would probably want high partition if you want to have more land for yourself for the future. Even though it'll take us 21 years, so it'll do. Plus, we're not anxious to going for anything military related as far as innovations. Now, anyways, where was I? Yes. Now, there's this upcoming DLC for Crusader Kings 3, which has just been announced recently, and uh, the White Squall turned to port. Oh, hell, not again. Fear not, we have more sales. As I was saying, it is coming November, on November 9th. Legacy of Persia is Crusader Kings 3's next DLC. It is a... a Flavor pack DLC. I was just trying to find the right word, sorry, because you know there's DLC, there's flavor pack DLC, there's an event pack DLC. I mean, I'm just trying to remember the terminology. Just like what they did with uh, Fate of Iberia for, you know, the whole area of um, Hispania. And now they're going to do some changes of the areas that spans from, you know, areas of the Persian Empire. All the way up to a part of Turan, particularly Transoxiana. Okay, so make up your toe. A claim on Vani. Oh, how dare you! You gave it to the Pandya? If we're not careful, who knows what could happen? So, yes, Legacy of Persia will be coming next month. I originally predicted to be a December, because I wasn't sure of how long would it take to make a another regional flavor pack DLC of sorts that would, you know, take up quite a bit of time and add a new struggle, which, yes, they will add a struggle called the Iranian Intermezzo struggle. And speaking of you know, Persians. Now there's the Turco-Persian hybrid culture by Sultan Arslan Shah. If 
Proje. You know, they will make changes to the um, Persian culture here. Um, come the DLC. It would be nice to have different faith opinions, so that way it'll be safer to travel through other people's lands while I'm trying to get back home to Tambapani. Eh, what else? Yes, I mean, there's a lot more I wish I could tell you, but. Stay tuned, uh, ladies and gentlemen. By stay tuned, I don't mean my channel, but over on Paradox Interactive for City Kings 3 for the next couple of weeks for these dev diaries to give out more information about the upcoming DLC, which not only adds a new struggle for the areas of basically Persian Empire and um, a clan government rework, and among other things. So it is kind of tempting that we're under attack. Huh. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. Your occupation and lands, which rightfully belong to me, can no longer be tolerated. It is time that I see the return of my possession. The Cholas are attacking. But they do have a claim on Rohana. They want to go after Rohana. And I'm not even present. And mind you, I'm not a military man. But the question is, does he have any allies? Likely. Talingana? Sure. Yep. Basically all of what is left of the Chola Empire. And uh, allied with the Kalyani Chalukya. This is a joint effort. And as I said, there is no way we can go towards accumulation phase now. It's going to be purification because we are at war now. And war it shall be. But mind you, I do have a few allies from abroad. I mean, what one that put you on the throne? I wish you could... Help us out, because you are a great power. So, rally. This is our best man. Holy warrior. An open terrain expert, because I do imagine most of the fighting will take place in the Vani region. Unstationed. Not stationed any only because they're being raised. Right. Well, we do have excellent fighters. I never thought of creating accolades because I didn't have time for it, but now we got a reason to do that. We do have a heavy infantry regiment. But mind you, our army is not up to standard in the sense of Full strength. A stag of the night. A vanguard and a thug. You'll do. My bodyguard from Croatia will be the successor should he fall. We can create another for this man. The Radha Buddha of the Tiger. Disciplinarian. Mm -hmm. And a Marauder. No successor named as of yet, but do seek a worthy accolade successor, which I will join the court within six months. He's doing fine. Raise, raise, raise. 
Right on. Go. Home defense. Ravine. Shovel supplies are on the right rough for now. We're we're in Syria by this time. Where the Radha put it no peace. As my council plans for our defense of the Jebahu, my hostage um um Lakshmikara Devi Lakshmikara Devi is that in Noble Agarada, you have treated me well and fairly. With ruin threatening. Is it right that Orissa, my homeland, the um uh, Rauta are idle, their bands furled, Shinyos. Give me leave to travel. I'll carry our plea to aid. And his blood, he will support you for my sake. So, he may aid me in war. Send him a gift, more than likely. Hmm. Please prove faithful. Please deliver me in this hour of need. You will travel to there, and it may aid me to war, but this may take a long time. Because you know how long it takes to travel from there to all the way up there. We lose this part of Papani, or we'll strike back and we'll strike back hard. Two acclaimed knights, including one that will give out heavy damage. Who's that man? Hey! Join up! Now we're full. But do not move. Wait until we find out where the enemy is going to be. After a long day of travel, the horizon starts to bleed into the warm colors. I take a moment to pause. And I close my eyes and be careful! My caravan later Momchilo screams. Uh, Pointing at desert beyond the path to follow. What looks like a small rodent into the wild, and after a brown figure, he's recognized. I'll personally find you, my dear mite. 50-50. 50 chance I'll find my pet. 50 chance I'll get lost trying to find my pet. There you are. It doesn't take much to track the growling and broken twigs uh, out of origin. Mike sits over leaf litter, licking his brown paws of the blood of its victim. The squirrel is almost recognizable right next to him. There are squirrels in the desert? Ha. Huh. I know you'd be successful. Well done. So you should move out here. Ah, Bedouin caravan is. As we wind along the skirts of uh, Hadatana, I see a trail of caravan camels in the distance, and soon we meet with a stranger. Good evening to you, worthy friend. Come in, come in. I promise that what you have, uh, I promise you that what I have in my stall, like Jazira herself, but more than I see. Says showing, showcasing countless shiny trinkets before my eyes. Mysterious lamp. I'm in no mood to spend money, and uh, I'm not gonna make much. 
there's a 47% chance I'll become the owner of it. 33% chance that I get wounded and they'll call me a thief. Take it a backseat practicality on this one. I'll steal it. Got caught red-handed and got wounded for my efforts. No longer wounded. Careful not to oversleep again. Stand by. We're likely going to be outnumbered here. Let him come. Here's a chill near and a breath mist into small puffs as I traverse the orchards of Anba. The trees seemingly covering a bit in a cold longer for a warmer day. Suddenly a high pitched shriek pierces the air. I quicken my step to only find a peasant child below a tree, in shambles and sobbing violently. It would seem she made an attempt at climbing the tree, before slipping to fall on the ground. One of the bone pipes protruding at a strange angle. There, there. I gotta serve the child. Found this man. Ninjala Deshmukh. He may be pointed as the Radhapura the Tiger. A Marathi man. Not an orgy, man. Unless I'm a lustful character. Still in Mesopotamia. We stopped by a town of uh, Madraya for a quick rest. The town is known locally for its amenities of being a center of leisure. Several of the guards in my entourage got distracted by the pretty local Mandaic girls. <laughs> we need to go soon. But perhaps it wouldn't be a bad idea to arrest some Mandaeans. Hmm. Wait a minute, what? The Caliph is a Mandaean but a Muslim. Mandaic. Muslim. Okay, I'll get it. We won't waste time. We gotta go home. My kingdom, my, uh, what is that called? Agarajia is in danger. I am Katak once more. Nobles of distinction lined uh, the uh, Rayavara Mesara's court, and I recited your plea. By what right does he masquerade? I was asked, and had little answer. My brother seems displeased, and he fears my return to your troubled land. Alicia still lives, so they will not answer from for aid then. Ah, oh, boy. I did what I could, but Ramasara, um, Udhataksari sees little in your arguments. With no alliance, all Orissa does not march to win Jabal Beckins. My brother thanks you for sending me to him and offers his regards. My place is in your court, Savikrama, and I will soon return. I was a fool to send her away from my sight. So negotiations did not go well. Rukhtara. While traveling on the road there, we discovered to our horror that uh, the number of our food supplies gone bad. It appears earlier on our trip, the food got mixed with a lot of water by accident, but now it's rather moldy. There aren't any settlements nearby, so we need to forge and hunt some food to hold us over. Though this will waste time. On the other hand, perhaps we could tough it out. Russian. Russian. Out what food we still have and already in the nearest settlement. We'll put up with the smaller rations for now. Because we got to go home. Now we're at sea where it's very dangerous. If we're not careful.
Oh, my cat. I found this little monster among my things. Well, it was a scratch, but it was covered in piss. It's just a cat. Don't have enough money to come. Com com compensate! That's the word. Oh, here they come, finally. Well, do not engage. They may have backup. I think I know a cure. It's likely they're going for Vani. 23, 16. They got some good fighters. Hold on there. Where did he come from? University student, perhaps? Because we tend to see Europeans out there. Okay, we'll commit. Get him in that peninsula. Get him towards the Jaffna Peninsula. He won't escape from there. We'll engage before enemy reinforcements arrive. That is from Trolla itself. This is from Andra. Again, we're largely on our own here. Our ally will be coming soon, so... There is a chance, as they have more men in arm strength. Battle of Velankukula. Uh, so we have the initial advantage, as we have a man who knows the planes very well. If we can capture him, good. We can end it early. We got him. That's a very good man. I'd love to have him in my army. And this man is a nobleman. Who's, who's the one that got maimed during the battle? His war is over. Hold position. Let's get to um, Jaffna and we'll land here. Because they're likely going to engage us. Yes, they will. Reinforcements are en route in four days. Battle is to begin in three days. We have the advantage of defensive buildings, a better army commander, and more soldiers. Meanwhile, still in the uh, Gulf of Oman, entering into the vast open Arabian Sea before we go down to the uh, coast which will be home in seven months. Hmm. Lack of glory, I assume. Still have the massive advantage. Now chances are even as reinforcements arrive. He got a good roll, but we still have the advantage in our favor as they're taking severe casualties. One of our allied men got killed, and uh, my counselor has been uh, killed. Goodness, it's this man, Karunadarakan, the one who's been with us since the beginning. We've lost him. He was a good man. Oh. It 
sad to know. My enterprising friend Vikrama, um, ah yes, um, Vikram who lives in Uzitse, well, he's at the court of uh, Veliki Zupan, um, the Tsar of Uzitse, um, during our, you know, trip over there. He came up to me today stating he probably pulled a great coup over the last year by soft-talking my vassals, becoming our confiner and influence. Um, well, it's a very, very way towards my person. Thank you deeply, my friend, for his help. My mind, never quiet, immediately starts seeing further away than mere opinions. After all, how much does an opinion buy? Oh joy, but things can get even more interesting. How about using the secrets of some of my vassals shared with Vikrama to blackmail them? Oh, don't do that. I'll use the leverage to levy an extra tax, 102 gold, because we do need money. My son and heir. Time for a break of his routine, that's fine. Yes, son. We got him. They're bringing another ally over. The Battle of Nagadipa ended in a stunning victory. I eagerly listened to the messenger as he reads the report from my commander, Agabodi, and then turned to the soldiers before me. My lord, we cornered the remaining enemies as they made a valiant stand. They gathered allies protecting this banner. A lot of good men died today, including including our long-time vassal. This is the Tamilakami War Banner. The War Banner of the Armies of the Chola Samarajiyam, taken from the forces after the Battle of Nagadipa. This will definitely look good on the wall. It would make a fine addition to my collection, because this will add some prestige per night, more faith hostility advantage, even though Hindus are not hostile. They're astray, so it matters little. Unless I haven't been paying attention regarding advantage. And a court grandeur bonus, plus two. Add it. He will make a personal claim for that if he wants to fight a war to get that banner back. Tapestry. This may seem like a strange place to put it there. As you can see, this is the symbol of the Chola Tiger there. But now the, it's a war banner of the Chola Tiger, but now it belongs to us. Just to showcase our strength. But at least it'll get us up to the grandeur level 1, which will give me the ability to hold court again upon my return. By the way, is there a straight crossing between the two, or is this always land? Because it's something I never really... You know, that isn't too well defined. So we gotta plug a hole in there. As long as we're in friendly territory, we'll be reinforced. Here's your replacement. Go with them. Remember, we are the culture that are stalwart defenders. We know how to defend our land very well. Welcome aboard.
Where's our Agarada? They're going by sea. I know where they're going exactly. To the objective. Been there in three months. Follow us. No, they're heading on to our capital. They call it the Ziza Kings, as if there was something luxurious or inevitable about my swollen, aching joints. When my pains reach their peak, I cannot help but wish it had been born a simple peasant. Peasant, 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 yeah. You have my sympathies, my lord. I have a few ideas which might lessen your symptoms. Here we go. Do no more than what is necessary. Relax your breathing, Magamita instructed me. The feather in his hand looked almost ethereal as it began to gently brush me under my nose. Evil, be gone, he urged as I sneezed loudly. The strange um, tickling just turned out to be just what I needed. For now, the worst of my symptoms are alleviated, and the world seemed a little brighter. Excellent work. I wish the giant uh, is still here. Oh, they're on the run. I think I get an idea where they're going. Now they will make a stand here. They're going for the hills. Stop. Well, we're committed now. We may probably lose unless reinforcements can get here in time. I'll be home in 59 days. As long as we don't get any delays. We'll probably lose, but advantage is still lost temporarily. The roll is 38. Okay. Still have the advantage based on a set roll. Again, you're fighting in open terrain. And we're known to be stalwart defenders. But we can't always guarantee everything, because we're outnumbered. Getting that a good roll. Where the hell's our reinforcements? Here they are. We lost another one of our men. Our rather put are getting wounded. We got a much better roll. Telugu band of Vengipura. That's the, that's not an allied army. That's a mercenary army. They'll be there in five days. Just before they were about to retreat, they've arrived, but it's too late for them. Here was Spindley. He was unsuited for warfare. The man from Charomandalum, Kalitsakata, is the one that killed him. As long as we keep him back, we're good. I didn't know you were in the house arrest. You can ransom them. One hundred. <sighs> this is killing us.
may have to hire mercenaries on my own. At long last, I'm finally home. <laughs> There's nothing better than arriving back at Vajaya Ravajapura after a long journey. I look forward to resting for some time, but the call of the road beckons ever onward. My caravan master Momchi reports that we traveled 2,252 days and traversed 390 baronies. I'll never forget when I visited the great city of Baghdad in my travels. Thanks, Siddhartha. I can go inside again. Veteran traveler I am. No longer sharing power. I would love to go on a grand tour in order to get more money, but um, we have a war to deal with. Because this is part of a crisis that needs to be dealt with. Oh, and also with thanks to the recent Dynasty Legacy, which is the Spice Must Flow, that uh, we can collaborate with the Indian Ocean Pirates. Maybe this could help us with the money situation. So, why fight against these Indian Ocean Pirates when you could work together for profit uh, of my mutual foes? So, here, um, you can gain a hundred right now. My capital will gain a special building, the Pirate Den. That would replace our university. Yeah, that means we have to pay to travel to a university. Pirate infestation. I mean, it could help, but that's something we may have to think about. But in the short term, let's uh, collaborate with the East Africans again. And then, uh, join Gold and Ivory exports. That is for, again, monthly income. And this would help it. Oh, gee, many Christmas. Look at them. Oh, he's in firm. Severe frostbite. Sorry, there was a bug in my room. Um. So I have the gout, but I'm still feeling fine. I want to stay alive until I see my son come of age. In which he'll be a much better virtuous Buddhist ruler than I ever would be. Apparently there's no one better than him. Any guess? That'd be good, Commanders? Nilsson. What about any of you? We do need good fighting men. To add to our advantage. You two come in. Because we do want more... F um, Men who are excellent fighters, because that can turn the tide of battle. Who else is out there? Because I see another direction. Another army to merge in with ours. <laughs> Bolster our strength a little. I would support the Sangha, but not now. It's too late for any of that, so... Grand Tour would be the way to go. But it has to be post-war. And plus, how much reparations would I get out of this? If we were to win. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho oh. ho! Oh, we gotta win this war! Yep. They merged together. 4,000 of them. You know what? Get the mercenaries. Get whoever is gonna join us. These two men here. But 
We must win this war. The one thing we lack is cavalry. Am I going to be willing to go for broke? Can't do that. You remember, they want this area, so... Get up to the hills. Make them come to us. Men in arms is slow to reinforce. Well, training commanders is the best way to do so. Anuradhapura, that's the one with the weaker defense because it's in ruins for long. If we lose this, we will not get the money, and um, and this um, our town party will be back under Chola control. And we would be there in a month or so. So wait a few. Stall for time. Wait till we get more reinforced. For the light footmen and armored footmen. As the realm is passing by the state of warfare, it becomes apparent there should be a way to specialize our troops for either in defense or in offensive. As the supreme commander of my army, I'm the one who will gain insights of such training. What's the drawback for this? As long as I perfect the art of Offense or defense of my troops, I'm not spending time developing my lifestyle path, thus losing important progress is made there. Given the situation, I've so perhaps consider. I do have some of that, but there are no perks related to that. I'm not trained for this, but keep in mind. That's only if I have to lead an army to do so. But I'd be risking my life as I have the gout. I could still fight, but old age is catching up to me. Well, I'll train a defensive operations. I'll spend it on this for once. But do not expect me to commit as a commander. Not willing to risk my life for this. Although honestly, I should have gone for the uh, you know, one of the other Sokro communities that would have helped me out with this. But instead, we're relying on our own wit and such. We don't have a wet nurse? Okay. For my child. Now. Is there a space for a... Aha! Why, of course. But that is a precarious region. And mind you, the time it takes to... First, get the message, then you would call the arms to come to here, and then, uh, and then the time for them to mobilize, to travel. Well, what about those from, you know, over there? From Pagan. 
because I'd love to have an alliance with Pagan. Well, there's your problem. Paul up there. That's a Dutch tier, but that is a sizable Dutch tier that it could give out. Okay, give me her. I've always had good relations with them. But Maharashtra, it's a bit of a distant, but um, as I said, precarious region because of title claimants. Of Kayani Chalukya, of what it has. Today, after lunch, I was looking at some numbers with Mahinda, my Arakaria. He informed me with he informed me now my finances are good enough shape to repay my outstanding loan. Perhaps there's a sound occasion to meet the lenders and settle the issue once and for all through the decision. Ah yes, the loan. I will spare my gold because we're at war here. Okay, they got a couple of days. They're gonna travel to here, which will also take a while. Another reason why to stall for time. Attrition. They will be going down slowly. We can engage them in a month or so. Depending on siege events, of course. We will begin moving in August, next month. Alright, man. I'm gonna have to get going. I'm inspecting the barracks infirmary when a severely injured soldier is brought in. He's losing too much blood. Where's the physician? Magamita is nowhere to be found. A chill runs down my spine. I might be this man's only hope. Suddenly, as I step out of thin air, my friend, Ratla Mahidala, is on my side. He rolls up his sleeve and looks at me. Hand me the tourniquet! Or, step back, this is my patient. My patient screams and thrashes, even though three grown men weigh him down. Every step of the way is a battle. But my knowledge does not fail me, and my hands remain steady. I'm not sure how I manage, but in the end, it seems like the soldier will live. His comrades pat my back. Decorum's lost to relief. Thank you, my lord. We would have lost Avirada without you. I saved a life today. You're not that useful to me. Okay. Let's march. Follow me. Chances are even. How you feeling? Ugly bastard, but you're one of the good ones. All that. Let's be cautious here. Wait until they're with us. Veteran Himalayan warriors. That's a Silk Road community that they took part of. They're bringing mountaineers. They're only good in mountain fighting and some additional light footmen. They're gonna, they're gonna escape. Vikramabahu? That, this cat's gotta go. My wife. Oh, some mother's holding Maita by the skin of his neck. Eyes red, nose running. I cannot stand this anymore. I can barely breathe when he's around. I will not give light away. This cat's been good to me.
got him here. I'm riding the planes. But be careful. They got a lot more fighting than we do. And friendly reinforcements will not be here until seven months or so, roughly. Well, we're already coming soon before they arrive in two days. They've arrived. We barely have an advantage. Did one of them. One of our men's been wounded. Wounded one of theirs. We still have the advantage. We're giving them casualties. We've got a good roll. No progress because it's too little to make a difference. Men are getting wounded. Oh, I just realized we have a terrible position. Karl Draskovic, the Croatian, killed one of them. A lot has been happening regarding these little battle events here. to forge a sword. Or is it any better than the sword that I have? How much? Really decent. 50 gold, you got it. That's the only thing I'm going to be spending at this time. Head to Matele. We'll rest here. Leave those guys alone. See, you gotta wait it out. I don't know why, but I'm tempted to do something that will definitely increase the progress towards purification. Although it may go against my nature for this. If you figure out what I'm trying to say, well, you'll figure it out. We're still waiting for friendly reinforcements as well. That'll be here in a few months' time. been good to me. So to my beloved. Three thousand men will come ashore. They'll be heading to there. Let's engage them. I think we may lose this one. The regular army, and this is all they're bringing? I didn't realize their numbers, but it's still good numbers as long as they bring good fighting men and more uh, fully equipped and trained men at arms regiments, which is something that we like because we do not have the finances to, to do so. But they're getting away from us. At least we'll engage one of them. A 
beneficiary of the joke. Uh, approached me with a frown. Burnt eyebrows, some bad metal. My lord, I mean no disrespect, but this forge of yours. Let's just say, if you want a sword to be at all serviceable, you're going to need to invest in a new one. Of course, whatever you need. They're coming ashore. How's he? Maimed. Doesn't matter now. They're going for my gunpura. Okay, we have fresh reinforcements from our allies over in Burma. But I fear... Oh, no, 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 no. I know what they're going to do. If we try to engage them head on, they're going to head to the jungle. So we'll go into the jungle to make sure they don't try to, you know, get in there. What are you guys doing? Don't leave us alone. Oh, just as I feared. Stop. Okay, they're committed. They're going to attack us. You're in our jungle now. We can handle ourselves. They brought out some of the worst commander that you can think of. But, he's, but that's the Chola King himself. The Uriah. He was a deviant man. He wasn't made for this. Oh gosh, he got a very good roll over me. Though they lack cohesive strength. Because of that very good roll, we'll be taking casualties more than them if we're not careful. Make do with what you have. I'm not spending any more. Unless we capture a valuable prisoner. Friendly reinforce will be here soon. They're on number here. Now they're all over the place. Go after the, the veteran Himalayan warriors are more dangerous. Much better roll than theirs. No advantage us. Got rid of them all. There we go. Capture direct vassal of an enemy. You can end this war if you wish. But more importantly, how much are you willing to ransom? 50. Then again, there is a far bigger reward waiting. We could end this right now and just... Andra will be deep in the depth. And we'll have so much money. That would definitely help us out. And hopefully this would bring about a new golden age. But, I'm the kind of person who... Okay, this is a plus ten. And we've won battle after battle after battle. Time will tick up. Even if we release him, it'll be 84%. Time will take longer to get up to 90 anyways. Okay, you know what? I'll do this option instead. Ransom him. Let him go. Let time tick along. While we reinforce ourselves. And, um... And, uh... We'll earn a little more money that way. I may have to collaborate with Indian Ocean Pirates soon after. 
Not to mention we could finally pay off that loan as a result of this. So we can engage in one more battle, perhaps. But reinforcing will come slowly, it's just we lost a lot of levies. Fisher took a poop smear to white grin, sweat dripping down his forehead, and suit smear across his face. I've told over to the forge many days and nights, but Mark is finally done. He presents me with an object wrapped in cloth, and as I unveil what is hidden within, my eyes grow wide. A folded iron sword of excellent craftsmanship, the uh, hilt and pommel decorative gold inlay, an intricate twisting motif. A tiny but elegant description on the side. Dedicating it to my beloved. Much better. Lovely. Much better. Are they going to engage us? Yes, they are. This may kill us all if we're not careful, but this is the best we have to offer. Advantage theirs. We lost one of our men. This is not our commander, but we get the idea. They got a very good roll over us. So we're going to be taking a lot of casualties than theirs, despite the fact that we have the numbers. Now the roll goes to us. Which again, Radapuda has been fighting. Some of theirs get wounded, some of ours get wounded. That's war for you. And, um. Yeah. There. That's it. Let's end this here. It's been going on for three years. <laughs> Three bloody years. <laughs> this was a Tambapani's finest hour. <laughs> because they pretty much, you know, just um, devastated us. <laughs> they all banded together. <laughs> and what was basically a surprise attack. <laughs> while the Agarada was away from his Balkan trip. But look at how much they'll be paying us. We have 200. And now add this. Wait for it. To the sensible Agarada Vikramabahu of Ajabahu, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I know when I'm defeated. It seems I've left no choice but to comply with your demands. He loses his claim, and uh, he pays me this much, making him very deep into debt, so no doubt there will be unrest in his realm. Perhaps borrow loans and so. But we took horrific casualties. <laughs> At least for the levies, which would take a long time for it to recover. But none of our territories got occupied. So I need a couple of things. Get me a new physician. Invite the, some new fighting men. And, uh... Else. Again, we have to accept the fact it's going to go to purification, so let's just get it over with. By doing something that will lead towards purification. How old am I? 58? Feeling fine. But we're doing very well in the realm of um, money making. For once, let us pray to Sri Lanka's guard Indian deities. Which is something we never did in a previous uh, ruler, but we're doing this here because we just want to get it over with with the purification process. Or phase. 
Many deities are worshipped in Tambapani, by Derivadans as well as those who follow other religions. The most powerful among these are worshipped as guardian deities of the island, and I should seek their aid. I will select one of the several guardian deities and receive the corresponding character mod of her for 10 years. The prominence of Sri Lanka's monasteries will decrease by 5, just for that. Piety. So here's for context. For centuries, the people of Sri Lanka have worshipped a variety of shared deities, regardless of the, whether they are Buddhist or Hindu or Sinhala, Tamil or Vada, Veda. Many of these deities were syncretized forms of Hindu, Buddhist, and indigenous religious figures, known by different names from different communities and often worshipped in a manner distinct from mainland India. Some were even historical Sri Lankan figures, like kings turned into deities. For the island's Buddhists, while the Buddha is considered superior to these lesser deities, the latter often invoked for more worldly concerns. So we'll have a large prayer ceremony dedicated to the major Sri Lankan deity. Who would help me? As much as I want to get the prominence up of everybody. Let me see. Diplomacy, Defender Advantage. Where were you when I needed you the most? Could have done that. Hmm. What else? I will go for Saman, the god dwelling on the holy mountain of Sri Pada. Prepare offerings of milk rice. Prayers and ceremonial songs. <laughs> I've decided to host a Theravada prayer ceremony to ask for divine aid. The singing of ceremonial songs fills the whole temple as we worship one of the great guardian deities of Tambapani, Saman. The god who dwells always on the peak of Sri Pada and worships the adoration of the holy footprint there, the master of prosperity, a godly king, Saman, whose sway, undisputed, is always pleased to protect you from evil. Decked in golden weapons, golden hulls and arrows, and surrounded by a golden seat and pearl umbrella, with the sound of fine kinds of music and drums and shells, here we are prepared a seat of gems of flowers as an offering to him. May our prayers be answered. Take a drink, but look at the prominence it hits on a decrease. Now for context. The event text here is an excerpt from a religious song recorded by the Sinhala scholar and writer W. A. De Silva um, in 1920 about the deity Sama, who is said to be the protector deity of Sri Pada, a mountain in central Sri Lanka considered sacred by multiple religions. According to Buddhist legend, when the Buddha visited Sri Lanka, he left a footprint in Sri Pada at Saman's request so that people would have something to venerate in the Buddha's absence. By contrast, Hindus believe that the famous rock footprint was made by Shiva, while Christians and Muslims believe it was made by Adam, which we know that already. So this is going to be for the next 10 years. Stewardship up, and travel safety up with a tiny bit of propriety. As I said, just get it over with. But again, do help the uh, prosperity of others. Granted to the Buddhists, as always. So, you know what this does. But we're doing that because simply for the sake of it. And support the Sangha. Okay, it's not going towards purification. I'm doing this because of... Um, Hey, here's just one thing those should be doing. Pali literature. This is, um... It, it costs less, and it doesn't give you much in a way of increased prominence of your patronized monastery, but your dynasty will gain a tiny bit of renown, and there's a 43% chance, based on your diplomacy and learning, of gaining a Pali literature artifact with randomized bonuses within a month or up to six months. So let's do that for once. So as the patron of the Mahivara Monastery, 
I must work together with them to further the cause of Buddhism in Tambapani and elevate the land's Sangha. Some of the monasteries of Tambapani are full of monks, hard at work composing various religious texts. From dense commentaries on the Buddhist teachings, to sentimental poetry in the Sanskrit and Kavaya literary style to inspire people to uh, meritorious deeds and thoughts. By patronizing the writing of some of these texts, I too hope to gain some merit. In the name of the Three Jewels. Again, doesn't gain much, but I just want to do something else for the time being. And I think you probably want to save the money for other things. Especially this option. Repay the damn loan. I'm supposed to be doing that for this whole time. And since you're going for purification phase anyway, I'll probably start building castle buildings. You know, like one of these. Add more to the defense. For our nation. Oh, yes, and finally, build that blasted city of Trincomalee. It'll be in five years' time. And I would build that temple here. And each, remember, each time you build a temple, you will gain renown for this. And that's what we want, more renown. We're building a lot of things, but... Quite busy now. Ah, yes, we need something that may help us out here. Why fight against these Indian Ocean Pirates when we can work to get a profit off your mutual foes? We'll get a bit of renown for this. Um, my capital gains a special building, the Pirate Den. Would that get rid of the university? Which again gives various powerful and economic bonuses, which can be further upgraded. Although I could, I mean, I wish I have uh, moved the capital somewhere else temporarily and build a pirate den from there. I mean, that would be nice. I mean, I wish I could build it elsewhere without sacrificing the university, which the other one, the other alternative, is over there. Although they won't like us for <laughs> for this context. The line between an armed merchant and a pirate was often blurry. Simple looting was often not a viable long-term goal. Thus, historically, in many maritime regions like the Indian Ocean, many elites often worked together with pirates for profit and gain, and to weaken mutual foes who were economic competitors. That's because we have that dynasty legacy, that's one thing. No promises existing part of them. I may or may not gonna regret this because for the next ten years the Jay of Rajapur is gonna be best of the pirates. Regional rulers started making overtures towards local pirates to cooperate for mutual gain when it comes to raiding and trade, allowing them to establish a permanent base in their lands. However, it takes some time for the pirate leadership to bring their fellow pirates under control, integrate them to the nearby communities and local power structures. Let us negotiate to our mutual benefit. For our mutual benefit. Four years, pirates have operated on the coast of Vijaya Rajapur to prey on merchant vessels and sailing, sailing the Indian Ocean. Yet, there is more to gain if we work together. After all, it is not uncommon for ordinary merchants, like the ones we do business with, to turn to piracy to make extra coin. Nor is it unheard of for pirates to offer their services to enterprising lords. But previously, such things were done in ad hoc, this organized manner of our realm. Now, we have struck a deal with the local pirates in exchange for letting them establish an official base in our territory. We will raid the shores of our foes on our behalf and provide us a share of the loot, as well as the support in us in our military adventures. There is no shame in associating with pirates, it is merely another tool we have in our arsenal to protect our economic and political interests in the ever-dynamic, dangerous world of the Indian Ocean. Today is a new beginning. Now we will have a thieves hideout. Mm. Th 
though they are now indirectly subsidized by the state to prey on mutual enemies, the pirates of this region have only begun to establish a foothold in this part of the Indian Ocean. More tax, levy size increase, and reduced men at arm maintenance inside of this holding. But would that get rid of the university? Did it? It did not. Okay, but the question is where did it go? Okay, so it didn't pop up here, so I guess it has to be done at an area that does not have a special building. Hmm. Now listen, we're all allies with my brothers here. If I had my way, I would like to take Rohana back, and, and this would be the site. To that. So basically we wasted that money for nothing. But it's it's nice to know that you can do this again at any time you need. You know, here's another way to go to the purification phase. Which again, you could do that, but keep in mind, if you do that, all of them lose prominence. Except if you're patronizing one, which loses less. And a random amount of gold you can gain. Just let it be for the time being. It's all dinner. What's going on over on your end, huh? Thinking of ideas. Yeah, why not? Be a real slowpoke, lessening the danger. Let's just sick. While we get a Silk Road merchant and start making some fortune back. That's what we'll need to do. That's what we'll need to do. Yes, that's the idea, but give it a moment. Keep in mind, this is your capital, everybody. I do have one claim, but there's an issue with that. Goes to him. Unless I ask him to retract the vassal, which you cannot. Well, why don't you do that, then? Nobody will like that, but it is a necessary thing. Now, okay, now. Retract that vassal of yours to me. 100%. Because I think I know how to solve this little monetary issue. And plus, it's another vassal for you to visit, but not necessarily because that one's a young child. I would rather kick him out. And, uh, and such things. Yes, it's a tyrannical act. Nobody will like me for that. And neither will we. But I'm doing this because it's a necessary thing to do. As in, give me this vassal, and I want him kicked out of there. I accept you. But I, though I think it's unjust. Yes, it is. 
But here's the deal. Give me that title and he will accept it. I don't, I'll gain a bit of stress because I'm unforgiving. Unforgiving? Forgiving. <laughs> Excuse me. 99% will accept. Plus he's intimidated me. So there'll be no more. You see how much we make now? And there's a reason why this. Because don't you know this is where the Ratnapura mine is? He's like, yes, he gets that tax. And someone else is going to come from that. Well, we got to get this under control again. Now that this part of the land is mine. Yeah. This is going to be an unpopular. If I want to build that pirate den. Jiminy, Chris, that takes a very long time. Never mind that. Disregard. Tesaraka's first tea. With my leave, my daughter and the wet nurse pray to my chamber. Padema poses like a herald of proclaims. My lady, you witness a monumental occasion. She has a mighty gift for you. Go ahead, Sakadon. Father, I lost a tooth. My daughter probably presents her tooth with a smile, handing me a pouch of form to the side. Lovely, but to keep your tooth is a good charm. Again, I have a valid reason of why taking this. Because I had that claim that Vijaya Bahu, my father, had. Though he never had time for it. But I do now. Even though this is going to go to Mahasena. Is that going right here? That's some muffled meows. Set an alcove Paduma. Might create alarms. The Finad looks at an adoringly limp, stuck in like a baby since when my daughter walks him lovingly. I offer a greeting. Though the human responds, uh, the cat merely purrs contentedly and rolls his face into a crooked line. Despite myself, I feel something with pang of jealousy. Hey, get my cat here! Increasing tax much, much faster when we're getting more and more control. Ah, yes, we're looking for a new physician Francis de Luxembourg. Who is possessed? Okay, no thank you. No possessed people. And uh, this man, the uh, Sicilian, he's quite experienced. It's the last thing that I'll pay for. I guess we'll do that grand tour thing next episode. Because this whole episode was taken up by returning home, a defensive war for Tambapani, and as well as Entering the phase of uh, purification, which is going to come soon. Which I'll end that episode on that note when this happens. Which you have no choice to accept this. So yeah, we brought a bunch of pirates over here for nothing. Oh yeah, do not forget, your control was a bit down a bit because of that whole inviting the pirates in. Actually, no, it's going down. What have I done? You damn degenerate. Okay then. Once you get this up control, wait a minute, where's our Seneschal? This would help us negate this. Just please come in. 
Come here. It'll hold. Dear Siddhartha, go outside. It's late. As I'm talking to the gripping uh, treatise on classical grammar. Just like you start giggling, it's a delightful snipe. Mind and nail. Left by the previous reader. My wife enters the room. Spineless man. You neglect everything but your studies. Reading indoors alone from dusk to dawn. Get your head out of these dusty scrolls or don't come to my bed tonight. Wife and wife. I need not leave you. I have the warm embrace of knowledge. Yes. That'll get it up faster. Keep your eye on it. Don't mock the other. Still has a certain charm about it. You know, I come to the realization, like, if you keep doing that, you're going to keep getting renowned. Because that's renowned farming. That's a bit overkill. Overpowered. That's the reason why I said, I need to find a way to get this piece of territory off of my brother. And then build a pirate den from here. That's one of my ideas. something that I may have to figure out further down the line in this series of how to build a pirate den so we can use that in the future. So, I mean it is going down. Because you brought those pirates in for nothing. You just spent all that money for nothing. You idiot. Recently loaded. Oh. Still feeling fine despite being Galvin, but there is a way to, um, increase space, learning speed, get a claim. Guess we're gonna go towards the purification phase now. Which is again, it's half good, half bad. It's the best way to describe it. So now this is one of the phases that show whether from increasing lack of discipline or morals following the accumulation phase, or from external threats and internal deterioration during the degeneration phase, which is what we've been seeing. This Sri Lankan Sangha is not what it used to be. This is a time to restore the Sangha and remove heretical and immoral elements from its ancient monasteries. So if this process goes well, then Sri Lanka's Sangha will prosper in the accumulation phase. And if it does not succeed, however, the Sangha will likely deteriorate even further, triggering the degeneration phase. I arrived back at my Durga. It's a long, lonely walk. 
Now the years pass, and now you're older. I was born in the States 60 years ago. The older I get, the more I cherish the relationship I cultivate over the years. So it's sad that I'm not hurt from my wife or any of my friends today. I trudge along to my chambers. Loneliness is pinning my lazy feet. Hear a clanging husk whispers from down home. What could I be this hour? What a surprise! All my nearest and dearest friends have come together to wish me well as I begin this next year life. There's even an entire table laid of candled figs. Candied figs, my favorite. Here I was thinking that everyone had forgotten about me. I cannot believe that my wife uh, went through all the trouble raging this secret. I had not a clue of such a thoughtful surprise being planned at all. My friend Vikrama, the giant of Ujitse, oh. <laughs> purchased me to start to carry three beautifully wrapped packages. Ever the trickster, he says, I have three gifts here for the choosing. One shall be yours. Which one shall it be? The medium size won't be perfect. See how the birds of prey. It's a court artifact. Different birds of play in their care, not training. The cover is ivory that's been carved this way, repeating image of rose flowers. Ups a bit of prowess a bit. Interesting. Again, please come back. I miss you. For having you as a bodyguard. Okay, it's nice you're doing for all of this, but hurry up. Purification phase means the prominence is going to go down and up. So it's a random chance, basically, each passing instead of down all the way, as it has been. Huge boost. I get to live, despite being gaudy. While we're saving up and building up some cash to um, for the uh, upcoming Grand Tour, which again, we'll do that in the next episode. One more. What did you do? You did something. You build a building? Just be glad I decided not to ransack the monasteries because I am trying to increase the prominence of mine. The Mahavihara. The jet divana that my father made he made it way too prominent for its own good. It was good for nation building, but not now. Been a while since I did. There we go. There we go. Barracks complete. That was the one thing it needed. It will be transitioning into purification. It will start in 90 days. In three months. That's the episode. That's how I want to. There's an abandoned fortress and a. Well, that was built by a mad king, according to legend. He was said to have been an unpredictable, erratic man of irredeemable and unmeasurable cruelties. Though the fortifications are no longer as good as they used to be, my soldiers find it useful as an outpost at least. Lately, there are rumors that the spirit of the king and his soldiers can be seen walking around the dilapidated ramparts, <clears throat> even in broad daylight. While some consider it an ill omen, Notice note that such stories would easily frighten any foreign enemies as well. How peculiar. I wonder if the Mad King's spirit is there. Oh, well, according to legend, again, the abandoned fortress in this county there, down there, was built long ago by a Mad King who was ruthless and cruel as he was capricious. This, it is said that the place is still haunted by this king and his retinue of ghastly soldiers. While the locals are obviously nervous about the prospect of the ghost of vengeful, bloodthirsty madmen dwelling the region, they will also likely find any foreigners who pass by, including other invaders like the Cholos. <laughs> Plus, despite its poor condition, 
the fortress still serves as well as an outpost. Ah, this is gonna hurt the control growth again. Come on. Nothing is fair. Haunted abandoned fortress. You might as well just say, do not disturb. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Purification. A Sri Lankan saga has transitioned to the purification phase. Here we are. So here's what makes things different here. If you're going to go back to degeneration, you're going to have to do these things, which is something you don't want to do. And that includes a large prayer ceremony for a major Sri Lankan deity, something that we did. Once and only once. Hunter wealth, killing of all ruler. Prominence is lowered, so we gotta get away from that. Basically the same way as it went. The accumulation, you needed to do all of these. We're gonna have to try all this again. We were close. However, constructing a building in a castle and a city holding will actually go towards accumulation. Oh, and one thing we failed to mention before we end this episode here, let's read more details about the phase effects. Because I'm sure it'll be much better than degeneration. So we'll no longer be timid about building castle buildings. And apparently conversions to an involved ruler or county will also go towards accumulation. That's good. Our heir has two virtues of the Buddhist faith, and uh, this would definitely help the progress. So here are the phase effects now under purification. The struggle class cast ballet only targets one count and unlocks the forced vassalization cast ballet, and they're expensive. Now here. Learning a new language uh, provides prestige. And granting a title to a local noble provides prestige. For faith effects. The prominence of each Sri Lankan monastery changes by a random amount between minus three to three every year, so it can go back and forth a bit. Convert the faith in the county proceeds faster from the struggle region. And completing temples, buildings, and the whole temple holding provides fighting. The other effects. Holding taxes are up now, and the control is up. Development down a bit, and it's a little bit cheaper to build buildings and holdings of any structures except temples. Completing buildings in Castle Onyx provides development growth, and it also unlocks the format for vault interaction against involved rulers, unlocks the epic commission epic decision for independent rulers, which adds a chance to grant claims. Is that so? Let me see, let me see. Can 
commission, epic commission, epic commission, epic commission, epic commission, epic. I do not see that. Well, as long as we don't go back to degeneration, we'll, we'll do well. So now I have an absolute reason to spend money with. But we're going to spend big for the next episode. Since we're no longer under... Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay, there you go. Now it's registered. Since we're now in purification. After we pass the day. So now, things will get a lot better. It stopped. That's all that means. Well... We better reconvert this back towards it, for starters. Yes, it'll take nine years to fabricate a claim, but at least I got something else for you to do. Two years to reconvert Vani back to Devravada, since it's held, which the land is Hindu, even though it should be Buddhist. To get us towards accumulation, which would help us out even more. So. It is a new phase that's going to be for the next episode. We're under purification phase now. And in that next video, we will go on a grand tour, another taxation tour. We're going to make some money, lots of money, and we're going to build buildings, castle buildings, city buildings, all that and more to get us up to accumulation finally and stay up there. <laughs> Never go back to degeneration again. We got to support the Sangha by any means when we get more money out of this. I am 60 years old, I have the gout, but I'm feeling fine as ever. Mm -hmm. So, we'll see you in the next episode. But until then, so long for now.